Hey there again. So, I figured I'd do another mini rant. It's right after the other mini rant. You know what? I just want to fucking bitch about shit. It's like, sue me. You might, so we'll see. But, yeah, it's just, um... Oh, so political correctness. I want to go back into that. Because I was talking about that a minute. I'm just going to call this political correctness part 2 or something. So, po political correctness part 2. You know, political... So, like, okay, I'm going to give you a great example. So, I gave the example a minute ago about our uh, guild name, Come On Her Face. Which, that's why they, they ban it. Because it's, like, if you say it really quickly, it says, Come On Her Face, right? But it was actually spelled like come, C O M E, space, honor. I don't think there was a face, I'm forgetting that. But there used to be a good come on her face, so I think that's why they banned it, because, you know. But yeah, so they switched to guild name and, you know, neutered it, which, you know, whatever. Um, but they did it because of political correctness. Um, cause the game, I think the game was written like teen or something, so they don't. I guess 13 year olds wouldn't be able to see that. I mean, I thought kids watch porn these days and, like, you know, watch every bad movie known to man and like, watch a good cat by ice but I didn't think it was, like, you know, not a big deal. I think they're kind of, like, all desensitized. But, um, so yeah, so, the big problem, I think, there's a lot of politics in MMOs these days. Because anytime you're exposed to that, they, I guess, I don't know if they're liable or just, I think a lot of them are just based in California. So you have, uh, you know, all these companies like Google, like Facebook, like, uh, you know, uh, Blizzard Entertainment, and they, a lot of them staff in Silicon Valley, which tends to have a very specific political opinion. So because you have all these tech companies with a very strong political opinion, you tend to have a almost like a mini censorship of communication on here, right? Like, uh, and it's really kind of depressing if you think about it, because, you know, you, you're on a game to be like a wizard, and then if you, you say, if, like, you call a black person black or something, or you, uh, you know, like, um, I don't know, I mean, it's don't get me wrong, it's a crude thing to do, but, like, let's say you're a wizard on this game here, and you, like, call a black dude black or something, which is, I mean, it, it, is that a crude thing to do? Yeah. But is that, like, a death penalty? <laughs> like, well, yeah. <laughs> now it is, so... It's like, uh, you lose your account, they'll just ban you. Like, you've been suspended from the World of Warcraft, or you've been banned from the World of Warcraft. I've noticed this a lot late recently. Like, in the old days, like, you play Call of Duty and just say everything that you freaking wanted. And I feel like trash talking was just part of the game, you know? Like, it, w it was just to let loose and just, you know, you kill each other, but you'd often just bitch about stuff and just call each other out and just, you know, ream each other. It was like Insult Wars. It was half the fun of it. Because you were just releasing stress, if that makes any sense at all. And I think one thing that builds stress is these social constraints. So you have these social constraints that really stress you out. And you have, um, this is building stress in the world quite a bit. I think that is, um, one problem that's facing, you know, everything today. Like, I don't even think it's sending an issue specific. I think you've got all these people who are at each other's throats and just trying to jam this shit down each other's throats and shit. It just gets worse and worse and worse until you just, you know, you, no one can handle it. They blow up or something. You know, I think it's something like that. People just be assholes to each other. I think it's some very human nature, which is like, you know. But you're supposed to put on this, like, isolated lever level of, uh, what's it called? You put on this level of, like, it's almost like a show. Like, um. It's like you're playing by a different set of rules, but you're still playing the same game, if that makes any sense. You're, you gotta pretend to be nice. You're gonna be like, oh, well, blah, 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 blah. Like, I believe in this, I believe in that. So you're, you're, you know, you're trash talking each other and you're saying, I believe in this, I believe in that. But guess what? Um, you know, like, you, you're saying, oh, African American. You're saying, oh, uh, you know, let's support the LGBT community. And this is, I think companies do this a lot too. I'm, I'm totally not making myself clear. But basically, you have, like, this very backwards thing where they say one thing and do another. I think companies do this all the time. Like, I'll give you a great example. I was reading on Reddit the other day. There's these companies that will host a autistic job fair 
and then they will interview the candidates, and they'll make a giant list. And then they will sell the list. And um, when they sell that list, they make sure that uh, they may essentially form like a blacklist. They can sell the different HR departments. And then they, you know, the people on the list don't get hired. So even if they're like high functioning or something and can do the job, you know, they get kind of stigma. Um, so it's stuff like that, like just bullshit. Like, you know, like where you say one thing, but you do the exact opposite. I think that's one thing you just don't like about the world. You know, I think uh, a lot of people share that sentiment, but I think it's just messed up. And then, like, people just want to go to somewhere like here in this game. They want to just be able to like, bitch at each other and remove each other. That was like the whole call of Call of Duty. That's half the call of World of Warcraft. Just to be able to be like, hey, you fucking bitch. You like, you know, have you ever heard of Baron's Chat before? That's what Baron's Chat was. It was just a place where people just blame each other and just be assholes. But no, it's just, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's almost like a game. So, like, once you understand it, it's hard to be, uh, Yeah, so people get on here and just unwind, just, you know, yell, scream, like, bitch. But I say the same thing's true with, like, TV shows and stuff. But I've noticed a very, a trend I just don't like very much. And what the trend is, is, like, you have the long-standing TV show. And then the TV show gets hijacked and just gets full of just propaganda, if that makes any sense at all. I'm going to give you a great example of this, and there's quite a few, but this is, like, probably the most prevalent one. Like, you ever see the Star Wars? Like, uh, so you had this one, <laughs> the Star Wars, um, by J.J. Abrams, and it was basically, like, episode 4-2. It was basically the same thing, it was just a carbon copy. Which, I mean, whatever, like, people want to see the carbon copy of the mix. You're not, you're going for Star Wars for nostalgia effect, you're not really going to see something new, you know what I mean? I mean, maybe some people are, but, like, you know, you, you, that's kind of what the, pre the trap the prequels tell into that makes any sense at all. They, you know, they tell into something new. They tell into something that has been done before. So when you go to see a Star Wars movie, don't get me wrong, you're, you're there to see lightsaber battles, Ewoks and shit, but you're, you're there to kind of see the same themes you've already seen in the It's like, uh, like, why do people watch Harry Potter? but they don't read J.K. Rowling's other books. Why? Because they want to see the same characters. They feel a relationship to those characters. They feel like they want to see how they grew up. They want to see the themes of it carried on. They just like the world. They like the themes. They like the rules. So, Star Wars is all about, like, they have one very clear set of rules. You know, it's just like, you know, good side of the forest, the dark side of the forest. Like, you have the, the light side, the dark side. You either have a green lightsaber or a red side lightsaber. It's like a simplified version of reality. Just, you don't have to think too hard. You just you know, you sit on your ass and you, know, you just watch freaking space wizards duke it out. You know, it's, it's not supposed to be like some social progressive thing. Like, if you don't watch those Doctor, you watch, like, the new Joker movie. That one's coming out, it's supposed to be social progressive, right? But the thing is, it's, it's framed now, right? It's not like the same. Hey, watch your childhood heroes um, have this epic battle and fight enemies the same way they've always fought. So it's like, okay, so you're, you're going there and you know what you expect, right? The problem is, you get all these, like, idiots. They're like, hey, let's spurt some expectations and shit. And they go in there and they're just like, guess what? Like, here's our yet. propaganda. We're going to shove this down your throat when you're trying to just chill out and relax. And that's why people didn't like it, because they're just getting these ideas just pushed down their throat. And they want to, like, when you go to a movie and it's the ninth movie of the series, you want to actually see the same thing you've seen before, just a little differently. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, um, you know. So it's, uh, you know, it is what it is. It's just kind of. Oh, I want a bag. That's always freaking nice. You know what I mean? <laughs> Dude, I got a large... I got a freaking... Oh, look at these. I still have the hotkey set to these. Gotta, like, let them have my... Oh, they're not large brown sacks. So there used to be a joke in here. What you do is you get a large brown sack and you'd be like, Hey, you want my large brown sack? Because the other colors are like green and blue. So, I mean... Large brown sack kind of inside is like a big black dick type of deal. Whereas, uh, if you have a large green sack, it applies like some advanced sort of STD, which, you know, very different, uh, 
very different picture, very different story. I don't think they have white sacks, so that's why it's kind of restricted that. I think there is a red one if you want to know that reason group, but it's kind of like, you know. I don't know. I don't know. It's just fun to say things. I feel like, so online, you want to break the ramp. You don't want to be bound by the same shit you go. You want to be able to say just stupid shit. It's like because you're released from the rural society to some degree. If that makes any sense at all. Like, you want to go and when you're out in the office, say things to your neighbor and be like, very good. You don't want to play about the second set of rules. Which I understand there are a lot of people who do play about the second set of rules. They're like, okay, here's the most recent social rules. Like, you can't say, uh, black. You can say African American. You can't say, uh,. When someone says that they're a, a victim of sexual assault, you have to give them lots of attention and tell them how they're brave and stunning. Or if someone is a homosexual, even if they're the shittiest person in the world, you have to like start showing them empathy, extra empathy, because they're homosexual. It's because it's in fashion, you know what I mean? It's like, if you were autistic in the uh, 2000s, it's a very different story. It's like the same thing if you had cancer in the 90s, right? It's like the in disability. It's the in problem. It's like this level of like fakeness that's applied to everything where you have to put this extra effort and you have to pretend to feel these emotions you don't feel just for the sake of social normacy. It's like a it's like a game, but it's like with these super complex, just weird rules where you have to like you know, pretend and be fake and stuff. It's just like, you know, a lot of energy and time doing stupid shit. I hate it personally. Like, I don't like playing these fake rules. I mean, I just want to just, you know, tell each other what it is. Be like, hey, honey, do I look fat in this? And you'd be like, oh, you do look fat in that. But maybe like a positive spin. Like, you go and be like, hey, let's work together on this. We can get you skinny, you know? You don't have to be fat. You know, where you actually acknowledge your problems and you work on them versus like, like, the whole political correctness thing issue, like, initially it was, like, it was just stuff like disabilities, right? So it's like, you have a problem, but you can't change it, so you don't have any sort of, we're not going to, like, bitch on you for it, which, that's okay, right? So disabilities, like, someone has cerebral palsy, and he can't go run a marathon, you don't bitch at the dude for not being able to run a marathon, it's just fucked up, right? You, it's just like, uh, you know, it's, um, but if you are, um, you know, if, if the person is, um, if the person has, like, uh, something they did, like, it's a chick that got pregnant, like, chicks don't just get pregnant, if you get raped, okay, fine, you get, like, props, okay, it's not your fault, but if, if you're just, like, if you, get, you, you fuck your boyfriend and you get, like, a baby in you, like, don't get me wrong, you might have low education and stuff, but you still spread your legs and put a baby in there, you know? And I mean, don't get me wrong, the dude did too, so it's like, you're both stupid, but, I mean, if you're, like, 15, if you're, like, 30 and you're trying to do it, like, you're probably planning it, you know what I mean? It's, it's like, um, I don't know, like, people want sympathy for situations, and you have to give this exorbitant level that far exceeds what they're actually like on. You have to pretend to feel things you don't actually feel. And it's just weird. You know, I just don't like it. It's just like, I don't want to have to do that when I'm playing video games, you know? Because it's just so many extra rules of life and it's just, you know, so extra complexity and shit. I just want to play if I, I want to stab this freaking monk right here. Like, why do I have to pretend like I... Like, okay, like, human equality, let's, let's pretend all the, all the gay people are, you know, they're, they're just so brave for coming out. And meanwhile, I'm, like, stabbing a skirt, like, I'm stabbing a monk in the back of the neck. Like, you know? Like, what the fuck? Like, you know what I mean? It's just adding, like, a real-life element to it. I just wish you could, like, you know, like, not have to all the social bullshit on it. Like, when I'm watching Star Wars, I don't want a, a lecture on, like, you know, male dominancy of the thing. I want to watch, freak, like, I want to watch, like, the good guy and the bad guy duke it out with lightsabers. I don't want, like, a lesson on, like, you know, human morality. You don't go to Star Wars to watch, a, like, a lesson on, like, fucking, like, okay, here, here, here's your white privilege. Like, let's learn about it. <laughs> you know, like... <laughs> It, it just, I don't want to learn about that. Like, just, you know, there's a time and a place for everything. I think that's called like a TED Talks. 
Like, you want to learn about something new, you go, you listen to a TED Talks, like, on your free time, and you're like, oh, okay, cool, I want to understand more. But it's just like when you start, like, when you, when you bait and switch, you're like, hey, come here, try this thing out, you're going to really like it. It's just, like, let me give you a great example. It's like if you go to Sam's Club, and you're going to Sam's Club, and you're like, hey, and they're like, you want to try this cheese? And you're like, I do want to try that cheese. That cheese looks freaking good. And you fight into it, right? It's fucking laundry detergent. It's like, okay, no, I get this is useful for cleaning laundry. And I, I mean, I get that it's there, but I was expecting to find the cheese, and now, like, the organs are looking fine. <laughs> you know, like, it's just, like, that's a bit of an extreme example that they use kind of for humor, but it's like, you know, it's like, you, when you go to bite into something, you, you expect something, there's a brand. Like, you go to bite into a Twinkie, you expect to eat a Twinkie, right? You go to, like, slaughter some orcs and like stab some uh, scarlet chaplains and stuff, scarlet diviners, and guess what? I, I don't want to have to like, you know, be like, oh, you know, fuck the patriarchy. You know, like, <laughs> like, you know, I just, oof. like, I don't want to be like, um, I just want to like, kill some evil monks. That's all. You know, so, just, that's what it is. One of those things in life, it's just bullshit.